<sighs> Let's get some music on. That's almost cleared away, let's carry on. Great, now let's build a few houses. Seems like a pretty good start for the video today. We have a decent area here to play with. See what we can come up with today for ideas. I'm thinking about maybe using this water here to add a small stream that goes through everything. I think that'll look really nice. And maybe a small camping area on this grass here by the trees. I think that'll be really nice. We'll build up some tents, a nice campfire. It'll feel really nice. So let's get started with that. Okay, I think that's come together quite well. The only thing is, I love the blocks you can make with right clicking with a spade, but I want these to be a bit darker, and then I realized that a block existed. A block that I'd completely forgotten about. Mud. Completely forgot that mud existed. So we're gonna make ourselves a some mud, and I need to make a glass bottle. Bear with me. I have no idea where all of my sand is. Maybe we'll have to go and get some. Hello! Oh, we need that for later. Nope! Yes! Perfect. Wonderful. Let's head out quickly. Go and sort some mud out. Now, there's quite an efficient trick to make mud which I've just remembered existed. Hopefully some of you don't know and you might learn something today. But if you did know, you probably just wonder why I haven't done this already. But I'll show you how it works now. So if you have a glass bottle, you obviously fill it up with water and then you can make mud. But if you have it in your hand underwater, you can just right click constantly. And there's your mud. And then we can use it to create packed mud into mud bricks. Maybe we could utilize that for the stream somehow that I want to put through through that side of the base. Oh that is satisfying. Let's do that again. Wonderful. Now hopefully that'll be enough. Make the ground look a bit nicer, a bit, bit different as opposed to just a standard path creation with the spade. I really do like this windmill. It took me far too long, but it was definitely worth it. And the castle as well. That was actually suggested by someone in the comments. So if you want to see anything in this world, I'm happy to build most things I'm capable of. If I haven't built it, it's just because I'm not good enough to do it. Okay, we're back. So I want to see how the different muds look. Okay, and the bricks. Yeah, 
I think the bricks are a bit much here, but we definitely use some of this. Now, do I get them back if I mine them? I do, good. I think the packed mud is quite nice. I think that goes quite well. So let's do that for this bit. And I've run out of wheat. There's some here, but that's decorative. I can't remove that. Uh, oh, yeah, I have lots. Yeah, that was, that was a bit overkill, but oh well. I now have to replant all of this. That won't take me a second. Perfect. Uh, oh yeah, no, we've we've overdone it. I think I maybe needed a stack at best. But at least we're not going to run out. We can finish off the mud and then we can get started on the stream. Damn it! I think that'll do for now. Yeah, I like this. I'm happy with this so far. I think that'll do for the camping area. So for the stream, I'm thinking we run it from the waterway down there that links onto the church. Run it all the way through here, across and down, past the dog park, and maybe through one of these gaps in the houses. And then we should be able to link it to here, which will then link all the way through the new area. Hopefully that'll look okay. And I'm gonna try and incorporate some of the mud we've collected as well. And let's get started. Turns out there's an old mine shaft down here. It's clearly where I have utilised the area to get as many blocks as possible for the building. I didn't expect to find that. The one thing about the fact this world is getting bigger and bigger. Hold on. What on earth is happening here? How have you managed to be in the floor? I feel like you can do this. You can do this. There we go. Come on, off we go. Yeah, you're welcome. But anyway, the one thing about the fact my world is getting rather large is my storage is so far away from everything I build now. So I need all of the blocks that I'm leaving on the floor right now. And I have to run all the way over here just to put anything away. I also definitely don't have enough mud, but we can sort that out. Okay, let's collect all of these blocks up. Well, I think the idea I'm going for is on the higher sides I'm going to use some mossy cobble and some deep slate to give it some height over there and then through the lower sections, I'm just going to add deep slate and cobble mainly to just sort of get a flatter textured look. Uh, but I think this will all really come together when we add some vegetation. So let's try that out and see how it looks. Okay, now this is the part I am dreading the most. Weather's lovely. I love this section, I think it's great. I just need to add all of the water on both sides. And oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. 
Oh, oh dear. Oh no. Please, sir, don't ruin everything. Come over here. Yes, perfect. Well done. Good. Okay. Jeez. The weather is not great. We just need to do the most painful bit of all, which is going to be adding all of the water. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, the sun's come back out and I've finished the water, which means now we can finish off the build. So cue the cool time lapse in three, two, one. And lastly, we're just going to build a small 2x2 two two bridge using spruce stairs and slabs, fence gates for the sides and some fence across the top. The only difference with this side is that we're going to need to add an extra slab in the middle. Okay, I think that concludes our video for today. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. Please remember to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed what you've seen. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.